Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi everyone, myself Emma Rubini, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. I am here to discuss about a topic called Database Recovery Technique. So we are directly going to the introduction part now. The database system like any other computer system, when a subject to subject failure, the data should be recovered as and when required. So the database should have the facility of fast recovery and it should also have the property of atomicity. That is when the transaction get completed and committed successfully, it should be recorded into the database permanently. And also if the transaction get failed, it should not affect anything in the database. For that we need the database recovery technique. So what is database recovery technique? So database recovery technique is to bring the database to a consistent state when a failure occurs. And what is the main goal of a database recovery technique? It is to maintain the data integrity and data consistency and also to prevent the data loss. There are various types of recovery technique. So the first one is a rollback and undo recovery technique. Second one is a commit and redo recovery technique and third one is a checkpoint recovery technique. Coming to the rollback and undo recovery technique, it is based on the principle of undoing the operations which is done by the failed transaction. So once the transaction is failed to get completed properly, the changes done by the transaction should not affect the database. So the rollback will do the operations of undoing the operation of the transaction. So always the database maintains a transaction log which have the log record of all the transaction that occurs in the database. With the help of that, the undo changes are done by the transaction when it faces a failure. The next step is the commit and the redo recovery technique. So this commit and re redo recovery technique is based on the principle of reapplying the changes that is made by the transaction when it is completely successful in the operation. So it is using the log record which is used to redo the changes made by the transaction when it is the progress of the system failure. And next is called as the checkpoint recovery technique. So the checkpoint recovery technique is to reduce the recovery time by the database by saving the state of the database during the time of the transaction. So in the event of failure, the system can use the checkpoint recovery technique to the most recent consistent state of the database based on some time series. So these are the three types of recovery technique in the database management system. So next is the concept of system log. So system log is a special file which is available in the database and the recovery technique is heavily dependent on the system log. Why? Because the system log is always having the information about the start and the end state of a transaction and all this transaction detail will be recorded in the log. So the log keep track of all the transaction and this will be helpful to recover the database back whenever it is needed. The system log or files in the following formats. The first step is the start transaction comma t. It is nothing but the start of the execution of all the transaction. And the second one is the write item comma t comma x comma old value comma new value which shows that the value of the variable x is changed from one old state to a new state of the transaction. Next one is the read item comma t comma x which represents that the value x is read by the transaction t. Coming to the next step is the commit. So commit comma t it indicates that changes in the data are stored in the database through the commit operation and once it is committed it cannot be changed further in the database. Next coming is the about error. Once the database is committed then no changes will be acquired and there is no error in the database. Finally comes the about. About comma t is nothing but it shows that the transaction is aborted now. So these are the formats of the transaction log. So we can use this log to know about the changes in the state of transaction and either you can do an undo and redo operation depends upon the transaction status. So if it is an undo operation, it is used to examine the operation and retrieve the old data. If you are going with a redo operation, it is used to convert the old state of the operation to the new state and it is possible only if the commit operation is over. Next coming to the backup techniques. So there are three different types of backup techniques in the recovery mechanism. So first one is a full database backup. So full database backup is nothing but it contains the data, database and meta information about all the whole database and also whatever full text catalog available or backed in a predefined time series. This is called as a full database backup. 
coming to the differential backup. So, the differential backup is only done if the full database backup step is over. So, what are the changes which is done after the full database backup will be saved here in the differential backup. Suppose if the change is done after the full backup is more, then what are the recent changes will be saved in the differential backup. And we need to restore a full database backup, then only we can go with the differential backup. Next coming to the transaction log backup. So, here all the events that across the database are saved step by step. So, each and every single statement of the transaction was saved here in the transaction log backup and it is a back of a transaction log entries and it contains all the transaction that is happening in the database. So, through this the database can be recovered in a database management system. Thank you so much. Hope you have learned something in this session. I will come back with a new topic. Thank you.